everybody welcome back today we are going to talk about new chapter this is chapter 8 so which is fraction 2 everybody saw before I explained this chapter so we have we have some kinds of fraction as you know so okay now let's see the identifying fraction as you know we have we have the groups for the fraction we have grouping so if the denominators are the same it's called like otherwise it's unlike denominator okay now let's see an example fractions 4 over 5 and 3 over 5 have like denominators why because 5 fives are the same okay another example we have fractions 6 over 7 9 over 10 and 15 over 9 have unlike denominator why because 7 is not equal to 10 is not equal to 9 that's it okay now let's see next in this chapter, first we are going to talk about 8.1 adding fraction with like denominator and 8.2 subtracting fraction with like denominator. So today just we are going to talk about unlike, not unlike, sorry, like denominators. Everybody saw. Okay, now let's look at the first 8.1. First step, how can we add fraction with like denominator? Add the numerators. Second step, keep the denominator same. Everybody, example says you add the fraction 2 over 9 and 5 over 9. Everybody, so what was the first step? Add the numerator. Everybody, first you'd like that 2 over 9 plus 5 over 9 is equal to add just numerator 2 plus 5. So keep the denominator same, 9, 9. You write just 9. Okay, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 9 doesn't change, so the answer is 7 over 9. Okay, now let's look at another one, 8.2. Subtracting fraction with like denominator. Everybody, we have some steps to add. First, sorry, to subtract. First, subtract the numerator. Second, keep the denominator the same. Everybody, first of all, subtract 4 over 10 from 7 over 10. 7 over 10 from 7. If it says from from so after so the fraction is coming that is 7 over 10 is bigger than the other one because of that you write first 7 over 10 another one 4 over 10 everybody how can we subtract them so we go to the first step the first step says subtract numerator 7 minus 4 so keep the denominator same 10 10 doesn't change that is 10 everybody 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 then 10 doesn't change the answer is 3 over 10 okay now it's time to practice everybody so this page is on, uh, is on your book exercises the first one identify the groups so we make a group for these fractions with like or unlike denominator everybody first let's write the fraction with like denominator so 10 is there any denominator is there any fraction has denominator same 10 10 no just we have two I write here 4 over 10 and 10 over 10 yes these are like everybody is there any same is there any same denominator in this uh, spatial area 5 is there any 5 no 22 yes we have 22 we have 22 and 20 yes we have 22 I write here 17 over 22 and 19 over 22 and 10 over 22 okay so we have cancelled this one you cancel this you cancel this cancel this and cancel this okay now let's look at other denominators uh, are they same or not no 5 17 17 40 and 36 these are the fractions with unlike denominator everybody I write here 6 over 5 and 21 over 17 and 64 over 70 1 over 40 and 16 over 36 that's it okay now let's look at the question to add the fraction so as I said before it's very easy to add first you add the numerator everybody 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 you keep the denominator same 10 10 doesn't change that is 10 okay so now let's look at another one another questions question 3 Musa there is someone who is Musa spent 3 over 10 of his pocket money to buy a sandwich and 5 over 10 of it 
to buy drink what fraction of his money did he spend so first of all he is spending 3 over 10 and he is spending 5 over 10 later okay so how much money he spent you have to add them to get the total amount everybody first you write 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 you keep the denominator the same that is 10 okay next so we have a chart we have a chart from the uh, small squares here so look at the fraction strips below and perform the addition so what fraction is that let's look at this one how many chosen parts you have one two three four five six this is six over one two three four five six one two three so 18 there is add okay so what is that seven seven is chosen part and 18 is all the parts in a whole after that so now let's check it is that correct or not so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 this is 13 over 18 is that correct okay everybody that's enough to understand well now let's look at another kinds of question okay so write the each shaded area as a fraction so you write as a fraction then write the sum or difference between them here you have to write something okay so uh, we have learned how to write the fraction uh, from the chapter 7 right yeah so first you write the chosen part as a numerator 3 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you write here everybody so we have another one another 1 2 I write here and denominator is 9 okay everybody so the answer is 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 over 9 how can you get 5 from these two things 3 over 9 2 over 9 so just you have to put here plus okay find the missing number in each operation so we have 4 over 11 denominator is 11 denominator is 11 doesn't change it so the result is just 9 how can we get 9 from 4 by adding you have to put just 5 okay one more example here 13 13 13 3 there is something we don't know yet so the result is 11 so what number you need to get 11 8 okay okay we have another question that is 7 Ahmed spent 5 over 12 of his pocket money on bus ticket and 2 over 12 of it in the school canteen what fraction of his pocket money did he use so as I said before as I can I can show you this this is as, as much as same question 3 and question 7 you just add 5 over 12 plus 2 over 12 is equal to 7 over 12 that's it okay now let's look at another one so Zainab's birthday guest ate 9 over 12 of the cake what fraction of the cake left so first of all how can we solve this kind of uh, this kind of question okay first way we have a cake we have a cake so it is divided into 12 equal parts you can understand by looking at the denominator so something like that first of all it's divided into 12 equal parts as you can see okay I, I, I show you like that just a minute if you understand well so you solve the question easily 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 sorry this is eight equal parts okay nine ten eleven and twelve okay everybody so now what i do so it's a surprise for you listen zainab birthday party gets eight nine over twelve okay this is this is first part this is second part third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth nine so what is left i started from here one two three four five six seven eight nine so how many is left it is one two and three okay i show you this one again it's important for you to understand so it's my mistake okay first i divided 12 equal parts Okay, think about these are the equal. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. After that, so how many equal parts? Of course. How many? Of course, 12 equal parts. Okay. How many parts of the uh, eaten? Okay. So, 9. You clean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, how many is left? Just you can answer the question by looking at this part. 1, 2, 3. So it is 3 over 12 is the answer. Also, we have another one. We have another way to solve it. So Zeynep party gets 8, 9 over 12, the cake. So if you talk about the cake, cake, uh, you can answer how many parts of the cake by looking at the denominator. It's 12 over 12 in the beginning of the cake before you eat. Before you eat, it's 12 over 12. After that, if you eat something, you have to take away out. You have to take away 9 over 12. Everybody saw. How can we find this answer? You have to, you have to. Uh, take away these numerators 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 and 12 12 it is 12 so why doesn't change we have rule you remember from the second step okay using the given shapes write the fraction operation and evaluate them first of all look this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 10 12 so it is 10 over 12 and there is minus between them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 7 over 12. And the answer is 3 over 12. That's it. You do like that. Okay, subtraction. Uh, it's very easy also. So you just keep the denominator same. 2, 2, 2. You just subtract the numerator. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, everybody saw as much as same the question for like that. Okay, now let's look at another one. So, add the fractions. Everybody, so it's easy, uh, as I said before, challenging question, but it's not challenge for you. So, 10, 10, 10, it's 10. Everybody, so we have just number to add uh, from numerator 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. That's it. Okay, question 2. Add the given fractions and fill on the table. So, first of all, there is addition. So, there is addition symbol. So we have some squares empty. So how can we find this uh, amount? You have to bring 4 over 10. You have to bring 1 over 10. You will bring the fraction from here. You will bring the fraction from here. Then you add them. Everybody, 4 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is equal to 5 over 10. You write here just 5 over 10. Also, it's like that. You have to bring 6 over 10, you have to bring 1 over 10, then you have to add this. Okay, question 3. Add the fractions and fill the empty squares with the result of addition. Everybody first, add the fraction. You have to add this fraction in this circle, and in this circle you have to add, you write the answer uh, in this square, everybody. 5 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 6 over 8 that's it okay complete the addition we have another one the question says you 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equal to there is some there is a, a number we don't know yet over 4 4 4 4 doesn't change 1 1 you have to add make it 2 2 over 4 okay next Evaluate. Evaluate means solve. You find it. 5 over 17, 4 over 17. You add them, you find 9 over 17. Is there any? Yes. 3 over 9 plus 2 over 9. You add this, you have not 5 over 9. You have? Yes, B. A watermelon is divided into 12 equal slices and put on a table. Sorry, plate. Tony eats 5 slices and Toby eats 8 slices. So how many, for example, this is a plate, so, okay, forget it, it's not good for you. Okay, first, uh, mathematical formula, I show you, so in another way. So for example, how many slices you have, uh, but is divided into 12, 12 over 12 watermelon you have. First, 20, it's 5 of them, 
if you eat 5 over 12 is equal to how many is left? You find 7 over 12. Yes, it is left. After that, Toby, we have Toby. We have another one who is Toby. It's 3 slices. I mean, 7 over 12 minus 3 over 12 is equal to 4 over 12. Okay, everybody, so the answer is 4 over 12. Okay, what fraction of the watermelon they eat? They eat together. No, I made a mistake. So we found it. We found it 4 over 12. Yes. Uh, but about how many is left? In the beginning of the question, the watermelon is divided into 12 parts. It is 12 over 12. But how many is left? 4 over 12. Uh, how many is eaten part? 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 over 12. The answer is 8. Okay, question 4. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. 4 over 11. That is. Okay, next. Which operation is modeled above? This is 1, 2, 3, 4 over 9. This is 2 over 9. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 9. The answer is A. Okay, what about question 6? The question says A plus B. Where is A? Here. Where is B? Here. First of all, 14, 14, 14, 14 doesn't change. B doesn't change. You write here 14. After that, 1, 1, 1, 1. So you add them, then you find it. Sorry, I made a big mistake. Everyone, everyone can make a mistake. Sorry about that. B is 14, but A is 4. When you add them, you get it and you find 18. Everybody, so we have another one. Write each shaded area as a fraction. Then you write the sum or difference. Everybody, so what number is that? What fraction is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 8 over 9. After that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5 over 9. So this is 3 over 9. How can we get 3 from 8 and 5? You have to put minus. You have to put subtraction symbol between them. That's it. Also, you do like that. Everybody find each difference. Difference means you subtract it. 11, 11, 11. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. That's it. 2 over 12. Okay, another one. Jack spent 5 over 12 of his pocket money on a bus fare and 2 over 12 of it, of it in the school canteen. What fraction of his pocket money is left? 5 over 12. Yeah. Uh, okay, first of all, you'd like that. How much money did he spend? 5 over 12 plus 2 over 12. So, first of all, Jack spent 5 over 12 uh, for the bus, bus fare. And 2 over 12 for the school canteen. How much money did he spend together? 7 over 12. But the question says, what fraction of his pocket money is left in the beginning? In the beginning, how much money he had first? You can understand from the whole. You can understand the whole part by looking at the denominator. If the denominator is twelve, in the beginning of the question, Jack has twelve over twelve. Then you can subtract seven over twelve, because seven uh, they spent. They so he spent uh, for the school canteen and bus fare is equal to twelve minus seven is equal to five, and twelve doesn't change. The answer is five over twelve. Okay, of all the people in a whole, 8 over 21, yeah, are men, are rest, are children, so a little bit problem we have in this question, that's enough. Okay, so we don't have any, any page uh, for the next, that's enough, I'm sure, so you understood well, okay, so that's enough, we have finished 8.1 and 8.2, so see you next lesson. So for the next lesson will be about 8.3 and 8.4, adding and subtracting with unlike denominator. Okay, see you guys.